Hey friends, welcome back. I am in Mistia, in the beautiful country of Georgia. And today's video, well, we're gonna go and explore the highest settlement in Europe, that is Ushguli. I'm not sure why they say it's the highest settlement in Europe since Georgia is not in Europe. But that's today's video. I'm just on my way to the, um, to, to the agency. And uh, right now, like you can see, it's, 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 Messia is absolutely gorgeous. It's very beautiful. And you can see like there's a river flowing from the glacier, the previous video where I hiked over there. And it's so beautiful here. And it's like, it's constantly the temperature and the climate is changing here because we are uh, about 1,500 meter above sea level, which is Shguli is actually much higher. I'm not sure what it is, I'll find out later on. Um, but yeah, it, it's apparently going probably to be snowy as well. And uh, <laughs> needless to say, it's going to be cold. By the way, it, like now we're waiting for the bus. Well, not the bus, the, the car, the transport. And while we're waiting, uh, we just, like there's, there's this truck here, it's a Soviet truck, it's very beautiful. This one here, it's incredible. I love them. They're everywhere here, you'll find it. It's carrying logs as well. Gorgeous. Look at it from the back here. It's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I wish we t were going to Ushguli with this, uh, with this truck. <laughs> Look at it. So beautiful. Anyway, let's head over to Ushguli now. We'll, uh, we'll document the trip. And here we go. This is it. Hello. Hello, hello. Where are you from? Here. Ireland. Ireland, okay. So. Here we go. It's a party here. Oh no, it is coming. The driver is enjoying himself more than us, I guess. Okay. <laughs> right, we just arrived to the first stop, a viewpoint. And my God, what a view! Gorgeous. And over this side there, we can see a bit of the peak of the mountain there, but it's a bit cloudy. And over there too. Wow, it's so beautiful. Oh, in the far distance, I noticed also like villages with the uh, towers, the defensive towers back in the days. Oh my God, that is so different than Messia and extremely beautiful. Look at this for a view. This is a Shguli. All right, made it to Ushguli. We're in the village now, and it's very beautiful, to be fair. Very, very beautiful. Right now, I'm walking towards the, the village, but look at this for views. Like, I mean, that's pretty much what you are be going to be doing here. And I'm gonna comment a few things about the tours and uh, give you a heads up before you, you book your own if you ever come here. But first of all, look at this for a view here. Anyway, I'm walking into the village right now, and uh, it's so beautiful and raw. Like, uh, yeah, obviously you can see there's no road here for uh, for cars. And there's that tower there. That's a defensive tower. Go and check it out in a minute. So I am walking around here, this village, just the very beginning. And it's pretty much super basic. And like, even the road, if you look at the road that we walk on, it's very, very basic. Basic houses made of stone mostly. And you got those like towers here. There's more in the back as well. There's on the top, down below. With an absolute gorgeous view. So like the village is built in between like a valley. And 
it's very beautiful it is worth the visit for sure and you know Ushguli and I'm walking up as well but uh, you guys can't see what I'm seeing but it's it's incredible look at this so those are defensive towers back in the days each uh, family used to build here to defend the village and to defend their homes and you can see like the the way to walk is uh, it's fairly basic yeah it's like uh, I feel like I'm in a like a medieval uh, time you know enjoying this it's incredible but I think first stop is going to be go to check out the church so there's only a couple of things you can do here the church I think one of the towers on the top and something else I can't remember but we'll figure out we'll see there's not much anyway <laughs> it is what it is and here's another closer look to another tower so there are plenty of towers there we saw it at the f at the second stop that we made and uh, near the river that was the view of all the village and uh, yeah now in, we are like in the heart of it exploring it but uh, you definitely the way arriving here half of the way was okay the road was fine but the other half was really rough the van was constantly shaking it was not uh, it was not a comfortable ride at all there are also plenty of guest houses here well not plenty there's a few guest houses here a couple of restaurants as well that we noticed um, some people hike all the way from Mistia to here, which takes about three to four days, and others uh, do the same as what we did, taking a, a day trip. Someone also, one of the guys that I know here, one of the travelers, he's taken, he took the tour with us, and he's gonna stay the night here as well. It is optional. For me, if I wanted to stay here, definitely I would do the hike instead of just taking the but because of time, I'm not going to do the hike. I'm just going to enjoy this and explore the village uh, in a short visit, day visit, I guess. And look at this for a view. So obviously, the, like the main village is there. And my God, what a view. It's really beautiful. And we actually hit, hit it on the right time. And this morning was like foggy and, and co very cold. But even though this settlement is at 2500 meter high it is it is it is beautiful and you can see the far distance there snow mountains we're not so far from them on top as well there and over there my god actually i want to go up there how do i get there uh let's check out with the ladies here hello, hello. how do i go there and left okay Thank you. All right. I'm going to go up there, check it out. Apparently this is the church. So small hike around the town is fine. Around, around the village is fine. So let's go and check out the church now. Getting closer to the church. And it's nice like it's built a little bit above, you know, just higher ground than the village, which is nice. And we get a viewpoint from here. There's a lot of horses and the classic old Soviet trucks and you can see all the uh, all the towers there gorgeous view absolutely stunning but let's get uh, closer to the church I don't think I actually walked the correct way maybe I did maybe I didn't but uh, yeah, I got my feet wet <laughs> And it's not fun in this cold. But there she is. <laughs> Alright, I guess this is the way to the church. I'm just literally outside the church. And my god, what a view from here towards Hoshguli. Look at this for a view. Oh my god. Wow. It is absolutely stunning. Let's try and get in. 
We made it this far, might as well. There are stairs here. Where is this gonna take me? Oh, this is the entrance. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel like I am in a medieval movie. Oi. Hey, buddy. Wow. Okay, that could have been like the entrance, which I cheated. And it probably took like a, a shortcut. <laughs> oh my god, look at this part of you. <laughs> wow. Back in the days, they, they knew where to build the church. They, they wanted like a, a good viewpoint too. What a view this one is. Right, let's explore more of the church. I made it very quickly there. But let's check out the church. I don't know if it's open. It looks like there are windows as well. What's this? To enter without a blessing is prohibited. Well, I don't think I'm blessed. So, uh, I want to enter. Oh, wow. This reminds me of Turkey. Wow. The, I couldn't come too much. There's another lady and you have to keep a noise down. But this reminded me of like the, the ceiling on some of the on some of the churches that I've seen like in Cappadocia. I remember in those uh, you know inside the rock formation they built um, churches and some of those art are part of like um, it was part of like uh, similarities to to this I mean the connection is for me it was obvious I don't know anyway let's continue the tour we'll just head back down around the village I think there's uh, a tower and something else I can't remember uh, but we'll see whatever we see now. Right, so I just left the church, went down different direction, and like you can see, this is like pretty much the end of the um, of, of pretty much the village. Over this side here, with a beautiful view, there is a possibility that I found out that you can hike about six or seven kilometers, and you can arrive to a glacier. Um, I did a glacier hike yesterday, just in Mestia. Um, there's not enough time for us to do the hike, so obviously, I, I obviously, I, it wasn't in the books to do today. But yeah, we're gonna explore more of the town. I'm walking around now. It's a, uh, it's not, you know, the town is very basic. You've got to understand. There's like places to walk. There's where I'm trying to walk here, you know, and uh, it's like pretty much like you're hiking, and it has been raining here i think there was a snow apparently yesterday here but i think here like right now it is low season i think this town would be at a high season during the summer quite packed there are a few guest houses for a reason as well which makes sense but anyway let's head over and explore more of the town of the village i keep saying town but it is a village you know it is it's even smaller than a village very beautiful. So here I am like walking around. The village is actually just below there, okay? And I'm noticing like there's more hotels around outside the village. There's a lot of guest houses there, but there's also a hotel. This one here, Panorama Oshguri Hotel. Looks very nice. And that's pretty much like where I'm walking right now. And there are these beautiful horses. The Georgian horse. There's a lot of horses here. I guess it's like, you know, it's important for them of a main of transportation here. 
but uh, since it is a low season as well I'm noticing bakery market things like that are really closed there's not much whoa I'm arriving to something maybe a ritual or something what the hell is this sure what this is hello okay they're looking at me maybe the camera maybe a foreigner right, I'm not sure what that was but uh, sounds it uh, I think it's like a celebration it looks like there was like a probably a wedding because there was like or something there's some event going on happening because it looks like there was like going to be food serving but this is a local thing like this is for the village obviously I didn't want to stay too long everybody was staring at me the moment I entered <laughs> I want to I keep exploring anyway um, but there was a restaurant that I found I spoke to the lady she was willing to make me food and tea and whatnot but as expected the prices are pretty much double what you're paying in Messia, which Messia is actually a touristic place as well. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. I'm okay for now, so I wanna explore more, and I'm heading towards the tower. Um, so yeah, I'm almost there, and we'll explore it together. Just quickly on the way to the, to the tower, to check it out. I'm looking over this side here. Oh my God. Look at this for a view. Obviously this is the village, just the main village. My God, you can't get over it. And it's so cool, like they've got like the farms there. It's set up. It's very, very peaceful. Just walking around, spending like a few hours here. I think it's, yeah, it's worth, it's worth the trip, 100%. But yeah, I'll make it to the tower in a minute and uh, I will check it out. Over there is the tower that I'm aiming for. My God, it's, uh, it's fairly uh, busy here. The whole town was very quiet. There are a lot of people here. I guess everybody wants to see the tower. There it is. I'm closer now. Let's go in. Let's see if we can go in and check it out from the inside, if that's possible. There's the tower up close, but it doesn't seem like we can go in. I was hoping I go in. I thought there's a way to go in and check it out and climb upstairs. But yeah, there's no doors? Really? Ah, oh, no doors. And there is this jaw dropping off a view. My God, that is very beautiful. Right, so I'm, I'm still at the tower. I, I walked around, there's no door here. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go down below here. There are more towers, and apparently one of those towers, I think it's that one there, I'll be able to go in. But I don't think she said you can go up. So let's try and investigate that. I'm gonna explore this uh, little village here, and uh, let's see what's it like. Uh, if there's a way, actually a shortcut, to go the way down, I think this way here should do it. I don't have to go all the way around and across i'll just go this way and look like there's a river flowing all the way towards and that's where i'm gonna walk yeah somebody else did it before me so it's okay see how close i am now i just came down i'm gonna walk this way and follow this path and explore this town well <laughs> i keep saying town explore this village and try and get into the tower and see what's it like and let's check it out it should be nice made it down and you can see like the way how oh there, yeah you see there was no yesterday yeah to be fair it is expected we are 200 and uh, 2500 meter high and we are surrounded by this beauty eh? nature and the elements here are gonna be aggressive but you can see like this is like the path it's an like it's a basic village there's so much 
like it's so old all the stone houses here and of course the classic Soviet trucks very fascinating and all this here are the stone oh look at this I see a bell there I want to go up here oh man he's a monster look at the size of this dog and look at this bell hey buddy I'm friendly look at this bell wow it's active wow I'm not gonna touch that anyway what is this place here I wasn't planning to come here look at this door somebody leaves some money here and it's locked all right let's head down uh, Explore more. <laughs> it's where I came from. Hey, right, so I'm I'm down here, and look at this. Like it's, man. It's like it's like I'm I'm traveling in time or something. I don't know what this is, but it's definitely not working. It's not functional. Um, but here it says go into the tower. And if they tell me to go into the tower, all I say is yes, please, and thank you. I will go to the tower, but very slowly because, my God, like, I mean, I don't know what to say. It's just another world here, you know? Those houses are made of stones, like, not bricks. Like, they put it in one by one. So beautiful. And like what's weird about it is like, I don't want to say people right now, well also why people right now are still living here, but also, oh this is entry to the tower, okay. Can I go in? Entry to the tower? Is, is this the sign? Entry to the tower? Tower? This is not it? No? Because here, sign, entry to tower. Oh, this one here? Sure. You can go up. Okay. So I go up here. Okay. He says walk up here. So I walk on the roof here. And apparently there is a door. This way, and there is uh, the door here, and I go up, and I don't know if it's coming on the camera, but I am traveling in time, and I don't think my flash will make any difference in this. Look at this. I have stumbled into oh my god and yeah if you're new to the channel this is right now my element and I do see us here a ladder that goes up unfortunately it is dark but I'm going up <laughs> right let me report what happened here so the first ladder that you saw, I went up and there was a base, but it was very dark. But there was another ladder, which is this one here, obviously dark. And I got to this base right now with some windows, as you can see. So we have a view here and I guess this is the way how they were like, you know, probably using archers or something to defend the village and of course it, it faces like the four sides because they need it from here to here to here and to here but drum rolls we gotta get to the top and there's more light in the top but I am pretty much I believe that if I find another tower here so we can explain it properly yeah this way here so I could be, I think, 
so you can see like some holes in this tower and I want to get to the top which is one more floor from here so let's do it oh my god and here I am this is incredible and this is the drop I guess so this is definitely the defense place where you see there's a wall here and archery and dropping stones or oil or whatever they were defending themselves from this is the right way down and they are sheltered from being attacked back from the bottom very clever very smart incredible and here also in other places like they made holes to probably like be able to see better this way if there are people coming like the attackers coming by but then the defense is down below here and really interesting and this is what I've been always waiting for since I arrived in Mestia is to be on top of one of those towers <laughs> let's go back down all right I'm back to the bottom it's incredible let's continue exploring so I'm back exploring now so that's where I was this is the tower here and I got to the top and it is an absolute privilege and look at this old lady finally I find some locals here there was nobody here oh, what a lovely lady incredible I'm loving it and there are guest houses by the way to stay anyway yeah this is the tour around the village of Ushguli very beautiful highly recommended uh, I really enjoyed my time here it is also limited time as well I wasn't going too fast to be fair but I could have done it a bit slower but anyway now I'm just gonna head back into like the city center uh, if you want to call it that way uh, by the way I'm vlogging while I'm walking here so you can see a bit tricky and I want to get to that bridge but I'm gonna cheat actually and go up here work smart always not hard but I'm almost there la 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 made it and they built a bridge here you can see it's a brand new Gorgeous view. So yeah, this is the end of the video. This is the tour of Hoshgali. The beautiful place, highly recommended. To quickly um, summarize, the tour cost 40 lira after negotiation. 50 was the initial price. Personally, I think it is too expensive to pay for something that I have not gotten. They, pro they promised us yesterday that we're going to get a 4x4 car and also um, an English speaker guide. That's the way how they were like uh, really advertising it, selling it to us. But I negotiated hard and I made it as far as 40. But today, we didn't get what we asked for or what we were promised. Anyway, we made it to Ushguli. It is in a way a fair price, but at the same time, we did not get what was promised to us. So you need to be careful with this when you're dealing with them. The Georgians are amazing, by the way. I'm having a great experience dealing with the locals. They are amazing people. They're smiling and happy and just incredible so far, this trip in Georgia. Anyway, this is the tour. This is Ojgal, if you made it this far, thank you all for watching, please do consider subscribing if you have not subscribed already. Give the video a thumbs up, it helps with the algorithms, and as always, see you on the next one.